I'm Matt, and at Triton Commerce, we work with some cool people who do really hard work. So I'm clocking in with our clients to learn how they do their jobs, see the challenges they face firsthand, and gain some experience along the way. This is Training Triton. Today we're going to a development to put in a fence with Phillips Outdoor Services. It's a fence made from vinyl. It's a privacy fence and we've got to put in the posts, we've got to put in the slats and all the little pieces to make it go together and make it pretty. For this particular project, the homeowner would like to get a little bit of privacy out of the fence and also containment. So the main focus was what would give me all of those things and still look aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> well, we'll get you started. Um, we have the fence line pretty much established already. Okay. So uh, as far as placement goes, we can just start digging, which is one okay. of the most fun parts. Post hole digging, that kind of thing. I've done a little bit of that before, but okay, it's been good. a long time. So You'll get yep. critiqued today. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that he has any idea of how much detail goes into it, all the little intricacies, and obviously the physicality of what we do on a daily basis. And these are your indicators. That's when the hole's deep enough. Oh, wow, okay. They spray paint the ground like a hashtag, okay? And your job is to make a hole that's probably about a foot in diameter, and then you gotta dig it down and then shape it like a bell, actually, so the bottom is wider than the top. And the whole goal is to get that bottom really flat. So when they get the concrete and the post down in there, uh, everything sits nice and level and doesn't get water under it. I've dug a hole before uh, with a post hole digger. Um, no, I, it, this is way harder than I ever thought it could be because when they dig a hole for a post, they don't want that post to ever move. In fact, the, everything else around it will be gone and the post will still be there. So these guys are serious about how they, how they dig holes. I had no idea. I have to say, I probably don't want to pick a fight with you guys if you can throw this stuff around every day. <laughs> yeah, so 2,000 feet, 8 foot high in 5 days. Yeah. How many posts is that? Uh, what was it, 200? Yeah, something like that. Oh, you gotta get that. Well, I'm gonna okay. you. Yeah, tell me what you I did. See where your paint marks are? Yeah. So I need to get concrete all the way around my post. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get it on this side because you're way too close. Uh, so I gotta come over this way? I gotta come this way a little bit. Son of a <laughs> Yeah, it's the ugliest damn hole out of all the holes. This is the worst hole. I did it wrong. I dug a hole wrong. I know you could do that. It's too big. It's not round. If you look at the other holes, the steaming hole over there, it's perfectly round. Everybody on their first hole doesn't realize how deep it has to be or how big it has to be, but he did all right. He did a little coaching, but he did all right. I want to share this post. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it now. Oh, there you go. Sharing a post, huh? You like that? Check out my post. Apparently, this one doesn't have the the side on so this is the end that goes through. It doesn't have the, the throughput, it's the end cap. So I guess we're good. So right now um, we got concrete coming because we need concrete uh, to secure the posts. We'll let you do all the parts. We'll, we'll watch you load it and then we'll watch you dig up there. Being that we're on that hillside, only fill these half full. And if you want a shorter, then we can do that too. Object is make sure you don't get all over the road. It's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Concrete is heavier than asphalt. Uh, it's 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 super heavy and it's sloppy. Alright, you ready? I don't know. And I tell you which side to pour on, so if okay. I say string side, pour on this side. Yep, yep. And that means I want it to kick one way. So okay. concrete down there kicks it around. Okay. You know, oh, see, yeah, I see what you're saying, yeah. So right now I'm really close, but the bottom could be kicked that way. So, so go on the string put side? It on string side first. About that much? Yep. And you gingerly have to get it around the post, sort of put it in there like you're sprinkling it around the post just ever so, because if you put it in too hard, what'll happen is it'll kick the post out and make it not plumb or level. Now, is this because of when I put the concrete in, I was a little sloppy? Ah, okay. <laughs> you could just say it. It's all right. It is very difficult. Uh, this, I, got, I have to say, this is one of the hardest jobs I've ever, ever tried to do. When you're trying to set your posts um, perfectly and then you're throwing concrete around it, it can be a kind of a challenge. Every little step of the way has a, a thing you have to think about. 
and it's so precise because everything has to be straight. Your eyes are so good at seeing something that's off. So if this thing was one way or the other, or just off by a little bit, your eyes would pick it out immediately. Last post. I'm getting better. I'm still not trading in my day job. But how do you deal with it being, you know, kind of a roller coaster, like how's that work? Good question. You definitely don't want to follow the grade 100% or your fence is going to end up looking pretty terrible. Yeah. Um, depends on what the homeowner wants for spaces underneath. A lot of times there's pets. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't have big gaps for the pets. So we'll try to find an average, a happy medium where um, we can stay close enough to the ground and, and not follow the ground 100%. Sure, sure. So it's not this perfect hill, and so to get the fence to look right, you have to use this almost like a chalk line, but it's actually a line that they use to, to get the gradient of how the fence is gonna lay out, and then you change the height of each post, and you have to beat it down with a hammer or lift it up, and so they set it so they can go up or down on each post, and they've got a certain tolerance between the posts that they can go on each step to make sure everything looks good. It, I was surprised there's that much that goes into putting posts in. <laughs> okay, so what do you want me to do? Hit it square on the top. Oh, God, Christy, give it to the... Hold on here. Here. Hold it like this. Yeah, yeah, just being... Just, it's high. <laughs> <laughs> that is the weirdest way I think I've I don't, ever I don't, seen someone do it. I don't, I, so, it's like too this. tall. <laughs> oh, that's how you're doing it. Okay. Yeah, yep. all right. I had no idea. I was just trying to swing a hammer the way I know how to swing a hammer and it didn't work. So, but once I got it, I did pretty good. And then, and then, and then they showed me how much harder they hit with a hammer than I hit with a hammer. And then I realized that I'm, again, just an amateur. <laughs> they come in a certain length. And the problem with it is, is that when you go measure the, the actual length of fence that you have, it's not gonna be the exact perfect ratio to the length of the slats that you have to put in. So you end up having to cut them just so, so everything's equal on each post. And then when you put in the individual little slats, um, then those don't fit perfectly either. So they have to actually rip them into smaller ones at the very end to put those in. I had no idea this was that hard. Um, digging the holes, and they said this was an easy one, uh, and it kicked my butt. I mean, it, it, it broke me today. I was sweating. I mean, it, they had to get a hat on. I mean, it was crazy. I think Matt did a great job. Uh, I think he had fun with it. He had a lot of good questions. He was very enthusiastic. He did all right. I'd put him on my crew for sure. If he ever wanted to join our team, I would give him a shot. You see fences everywhere. Um, now after you've seen this, I hope you understand how difficult it was to put it there. My gosh, uh, it, this is harder than anything. I, it's the most mundane little thing that you look at. Everywhere around you there's fences. And someone put them in and you just saw how that went. Whoa, uh, those people, uh, they should get awards. If you work hard and would like your business featured, let us know at tritoncommerce.com forward slash training triton. It is very difficult. Uh, this, I, got, I have to say, this is one of the hardest jobs I've ever, ever tried to do. So, now the guys just did tell me they, they do use an auger in so different times. times of the weather, that kind of thing, have to influence it and that sort of thing. Yeah. Sometimes. Wow, look at that.